Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be showing you how you can recreate this dramatic sunset to makeup look. So if you want to know how I achieved it, please keep on watching. To begin, I'm going to use BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm going to use this red shade. I'll be using Maybelline's eyeshadow brush and packing on the color above the crease line. Notice that I didn't go straight to blending, I am packing on the color. As you can see, I'm packing on the color and tapping motions, and I'm basically taking my time on this. And we're going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. Then I'll be grabbing a stapling brush and blending out the harsh edges and bringing it towards the brow. And again, you want to take your time and make sure that the eyeshadow is really nice and blended. Then I'll be taking a Sigma A35 and making sure that it is even more blended. And doing the exact same thing to the other eye. This video is basically gonna consist of a lot of blending and taking your time. Then I'm going to use BH Cosmetics 3rd Edition 120 Color Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to use this burgundy shade and apply it right on the crease. And then I'm going to use Sigma's E35 again to blend out the harsh edges and blending it in with the red. Then I'll be grabbing Ella Girls Pro Conceal in Natural and a concealer brush and I'm going to carve out a half cut crease. When I carved out the half cut crease, it wasn't coming out like clean, it was making the concealer look pink. So what I did was I carved out the half cut crease and with makeup eye remover, I applied some on a q-tip and I started to take off the part of the half cut crease and reapplying the concealer of our half cut crease. And this really did make our half cut crease look more cleaner. Then I'll be mixing these two light pink shades together and apply it on the inner corner of the eye. Going back with the Take Me To Brazil palette, I'm going to use this shimmer orange shade and apply it right on the center of the lid and blending it with the pink and the burgundy. Then I'll be mixing these two purple shades together and apply it on the outer V. Next I'm going to use Revlon's Photo Ready Eye Art in Burnish Bling and use the glittery side and apply it right above the crease line. Usually the first coat isn't so pigmented so what I did was apply the first coat and let it dry. So meanwhile I'm going to apply the red and the burgundy under the lash line. For my upper lashes, I'm going to use Benefit's Bad Gal Lash Mascara. And for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use Benefit's Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Here then, I'm going to apply a second coat. For eyeliner, I'm going to use Wet n Wild's H2 Proof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to create a small wing. And I'm just going to pop on some lashes. I don't remember exactly the name of these. And 
lastly, I'm going to use Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Dental and apply it on the inner tear duct. And that is the finished look. It's super dramatic. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and until then, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!